injury superhuman And I know that the answers are inside Yeah, I am a 21st century superhuman Now, now, now is the time Come, come Come on, everyone, let's celebrate We are the children of the sun I can see it when I look into your eyes We are the same, and we are light, and we are one Here now, hear my ancient prayer and sing along We are awakening as one we can make a difference Yeah, we can be the change it takes To make the world a lot more fun But if you're feeling kind of down And you need some inspiration To remember who you are Oh, now, child, please don't frown You can choose a new vibration And these words can take you far First century superhuman And I know that the answers are inside Here I'm Carrie Kiristar Ellis, author of the 21st Century Superhuman book series And today I'm going to have with me a young man named Beto Hey guys Hey Beto, nice to see you today Nice to see you too How are you doing? How's everything? It is beautiful, and you just have such a great light about you. I'm excited to hear your story. I know that one of the things you're doing is working with a kind of, would you call them a musical group called Avalon? And yeah. working on documentary. Tell me about that. Well, um, first, a little bit of background. I, I am Beto. I'm 27 years old. I used to live in Guadalajara. And, and Gerald is listening and he says hello. I get oh, to see I, the comments here. I, actually, Gerald connect me with you. So yes. I don't know where to start. I mean, um, there's two things that I have to say. The first one is Beto Marti, the actor, the, the, the one who studied law school and the one who's seeking this awakeness, seeking this part of the consciousness that it's uh, now part of my life. And the other part is um, Avalon community. Uh, when I first arrived here at Tulum, uh, I was like this person that wants to enjoy parties, I wants to enjoy just life, uh, you know, all the kinds of stuff that 27 year old people want. You know, right. most, most of them, maybe most of my generation. The thing is that when I get invited to the Avalon community, it was because of the Zen experience event. Uh, I was Zen as in Z, as in Z E N Zen yeah. experience. Okay, yeah. Right. So before that, I was this man struggling with with a life. You know, struggling with what I want to do, what I want to afford, what I want to reach, and and so on. Actually, I I, I want to cry right now in this very moment because it's 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 amazing how things just come after you no know, i can feel it i can feel it because i was feeling like i wanted to cry so i think we're yeah connected. i mean in my picture this nine months ago um i was having this uh broken heart i was having this struggle in this blah 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 everything that makes us uh if we think about it a victim you know like yes. oh my god but it left me, now I don't feel love, what I'm going to do with my life, what I'm going to... And there, this, there was this one girl that is called Maris Angel Medina, actually, you can reach her in, in, in Instagram, she's amazing, she's my best friend and my associate. This girl says, you know what, Beto, I'm going to Cancun. I'm going to Cancun and I want to do some things. If you want to come, feel free. And I say, well, let's see it. And that's way on the other side of Mexico from where you were in Guadalajara, right? Totally right. It's in Jalisco, actually, in the Pacific Ocean. So Wow, yeah. A, a guy like me doing like... I was like a taxi driver back in Guadalajara. I used to work in many, 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 many places. But I never 
feel or reach something that really affect me emotionally, emotionally, physically, mentally, nothing. When I arrive here, uh, they say that the, the, the Mayan culture uh, was somewhere else or some, somewhere here. But yes. it's true, it's true. Actually, all yes. that magic that, that claim that they come here to Quintana Roo, Tulum, Bacalar, Playa del Carmen, or, or Cancun, sí. they feel a spiritual awakening when they arrive here. Yes. But the first months were like, mm, I used to sleep in the street, in my car, mm. a couple of days with my friends in hostels. You know what? Every day I quit. Every day, every single day I say, I quit. I quit this. But my Angel told me, what if this could be the best thing and maybe mm. it's better that you can imagine? And I say, no, I quit. I want to go back to Guadalajara. I'm just mm. one cop to go to the airport and just get out of here. And two months ago, I reached the beast, uh, the belly of the beast. It was a very dark experience. Mm. Uh, people start to say, well, Beto, goodbye. I mean, you're over there, we are over here. So goodbye, goodbye. And I start saying, okay, goodbye, goodbye. And then the same experience event came to me, come to me and was like, Beto, we have a ticket for you. If you want to experience something, maybe if you want to reach some spirituality, there will be a lot of people there that maybe if you met them, maybe if you meet them, could be something good for you. And I say, okay, let's do it. I reached an experience and I was like an amazing thing. Uh, have you ever been into this like scenarios? I'm an actor. So have you ever looked at these scenarios like, um, like there's so magical thing over there, like something that is really, really, really cool. Like um, the temple in the one in, in a pond and then I, I, a great yard over there, a cenote in the right. It was like, wow, what, what is this place? And a lot of people meditating, uh, giving advices, people that are uh, eating differently. I used to eat a lot, a lot of meat. But when I came here, it was like, well, if you want to do something different with your life, start eating differently. If you want to be thinner, if you want to, you must do exercise. So I lost like 30 kilos. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. yeah. That's a lot. Yeah. My my pants were uh, 36, 32, and now I am 30, 32. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. You know, I love your story because I think so many young people are out there wondering how to really live according to their heart. And I think your story is so important. Yeah, I mean... Most of, 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 of my friends back in Guadalajara say, I don't have time, my life is here, I don't want to travel, I don't want to give away this comfort zone. Right. And the thing is, when you, when you are in the comfort zone, you always feel safe. But when yes. something takes you, you know, there's something that is called the ego, you know? So you have two options. Remain with your ego and stay in your comfort zone or try something else. I, I try to quit. <laughs> I try to quit every single time, every single time each day. And Marisangel told me, Beto, don't quit. It could turn better than you can imagine if you just relax, enjoy the journey, enjoy. <laughs> but I was like, I, I don't have money. I don't have anything. I just have my car. Beto, you have everything in your mind. Yes. Oh, wow. What a great yeah. friend. What a beautiful it friend. Without her, maybe we can even have a talk right now. Sure, I I'd love her. to have her. She's welcome. Oh, uh, she's in a in a cenote right now. She's she's saying okay. she, she told me, "This is enjoy." Yeah. And when you're ready, come with me and your friends to the cenote. This is yeah. your opportunity. Good. Well, and another day we can have her on with you too. But you know, yeah. but the point is what you're doing and what you're awakening to, which is fabulous. Yeah, the thing is, um, my whole life, I was like, I'm mean, but for something else. When I see people on the street, when I watch them, 
seeking for money, seeking for for uh, some approach of love or some approach of have a hug or something. I never say no to those people. I maybe sometimes give something, maybe some other times I purchase them food and some other times I, you know, hey, I have a place when you can wash yourself. If you want, let's do it. Uh, nobody, nobody ever have to be alone. Not on my watch. So when I, I get to the Zen experience, I, I meet somebody that's called Ismael Venegas. Uh, this is a painter uh, as an artist too. My whole life is this. I want to create a community of artists, many artistic people, all of them could be actors, could be painters, could be people that do whatever they want, musicians, everything, you know, that do instruments, people that make some colors or necklaces or whatever. Why? This is a very visionary point, and maybe it's not so humble of me of saying this, but I want to bring the second renaissance on earth. I'm, no, I'm actually one of, 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 the, of the people that wants to do that. I'm by no reasons try to be like, oh my God, he wants to bring that. No, I want to do what all of the people that are connected in this specific moment, maybe they're watching it, want to do. Yes, maybe. beautiful. I, like, there's no a way to be in, in, in your life. If you want to do something, you seek it, you do it, and let's see what happens. Everything yeah. that comes by the heart could bring something new, could, could, could do something better. We, ha we hear a lot of wars, we hear a lot of things that are going on in the world, but right. we are conscious about the mass effect. Yes. We must understand that if we are calm, if we yes. breathe, you know, like in, the, in this very moment, you can feel that everything is going to be all right at the end. Of yes. course, a lot of people doing stuff in, in the background. There's a lot of people. Yes, yes. And that will happen eventually. Every time. It's a balance. We, I'm not fighting with the ego. I'm giving him my hand and I want to walk through everything. The ego keeps myself alive. Okay? Yes. It gives you strength, it gives you courage, it gives you personality, and you blend that with your heart. Totally, because if it wasn't a war, we will not even know what is peace. Yes. There's a lot of peace is because we know what war means. So yes. everything, everything has to have a balance. That doesn't mean that we need to take away everything and live happily ever after and super happy and happy all the time. No, what means to, for me, for me, to be in this spiritual process is to be aligned with my ego, with my in war, and just to try new things outside. Maybe yeah. we'll succeed, maybe not, but that's not the point. The point is not who is giving the message, it's the message, that's it. That's beautiful. You are eloquent at what you're sharing and it's coming from the heart, it's just fabulous. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, well, yeah. I want to hear the next step that you started telling us about, which is the Avalon Zen experience. And yeah. then you're, are you working on a documentary also? Yes. Or? Yeah. So I, tell us about the Avalon community because of Ismael. So after the Zen experience, he told me, let's go to Avalon. And when I reach Avalon, I see these people singing, dancing, meditating, but they never rehearse, you know? They just play the instruments and go with the flow, with the wind, with everything that is going on. And I say, let's let's show this to the people. Yeah. And I, Marie Sangel, I want to, I want to make a documentary about these people, about what Avalon community is, because there's yeah. a lot of like Avalon. I want to reach everyone and uh, and everyone, single one of them, because there's a message there. It doesn't matter who is the owner, who's the CEO, or or what company it is. Mm -hmm. If you're trying to reach spirituality for the people, if you want to make them approach to you so they can learn something about themselves, welcome. I will do a documentary for you. I will send a video of you. I will share this with my friends. If you have a message to fulfill this awakeness, I'm in. And now we are doing a videos. Now we are, uh, and now I'm here in, in, a, in a place where we record yesterday. Um, 
and it's amazing that people really connect with themselves in a way that I can ever imagine. Back in those days, in maybe 2020, I think I will meditate and I will flow with the wind, but then it wasn't real. I tried to make it real, but how could it make it real if I was never real to me, you know? Very good. So um, Gerald is asking in the um, chat, um, how would you describe Avalon? Describe Avalon for our listeners, because you know what my experience is? These really beautiful groups of young people and all ages of people, um, but they tend to initiate with young people um, of street musicians and dancers and drumming and meditating and doing these beautiful things. Um, I think there's a big contingency of that in Mexico. Uh, yes. And and I don't know about the other Central and South American countries, but it seems like there's almost an uprising here. Um, and I'd like to hear about that and then also describe to us what Avalon is for those who don't know, because people really don't know exactly. You can describe it better than me. The Avalon community, it's, uh, it's a group of people that are trying to share or want to share and is sharing the opportunity to know yourself by the experience of being consciousness, of being awake, you know? They go from the inner part of yourself and they explore yourself and then bring out who you are because you want it, you know? They say, hey, you want to sing? Uh, well, yes, I want to sing. Come sing, sit here, go with the flow. So, okay, you're sitting there and there's people singing and you're like, well, what I'm going to sing right now? And um, uh, it's like, what, what I do? And, and they start like, oh, 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 and then you, oh, 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 oh. and then you're singing and they're playing these instruments and then you, oh, you feel the experience. They have this, this is in their, uh, in their presentation, the singing presentation, the meditation presentation that these steps takes you from inside to the outside, then they elevate you at these frequencies that they only know how to make it possible because I'm, I'm, I'm doing a research right now on how they do that because it's, it's amazing. They do, and when they do that, your heart starts pumping faster. At some point, some people had this, what we call in Mexico, catharsis. Maybe in, in English, it's the same translation. C -C -C -C. Same, catharsis, yes. Or you start to crying or you start yeah. like, wow, what, what I'm starting feeling. I already have goosebumps right now. Me too, uh, me too, yes. So they do this, but they're trying to reach you not only in this that they call the harmonization that is on Sundays. They offer workshops for people, workshops that help themselves to connect with their bodies, connect with their minds. And actually, and I were offering workshops. Mine, it's... Um, it's called Egregor, that is with Maris Angel and I. It's a, it's like an acting workshop with corporal consciousness workshop mixed together, but it's just the name. It wow. has something that we want to share with the community and that will be in the universities later. My vision Beautiful. here is to bring the universities, the people that work in the universities, teachers, uh, all the groups, all the people that want to do something, Avalon community, other communities such as Magic Community, with Radicas, everyone is invited. But not like in a profit way, to share, to share the people the importance of being alive, to yes. cook your own meal, to really be aware that everything is alive. Everything has, has, and many people is talking about this. Uh, but they never, I don't know if they never reach it correctly or I don't know if they just, ah, okay, everything is frequency, yeah, oh, yeah, whatever. But I don't know if the people take more seriously this, they maybe understand that this is real. I mean, I come from a life that I just raise my hand and I have everything that I want. But when I got here, I got nothing, just a car, a car with no gas, a car with a lot of things that I need to, uh, you know, fixed. 
and uh, this will sound so cliche, and a dream. My dream uh -huh. is to bring everyone and make them feel that they are part of the community. They will never be left apart. Beautiful. Hmm, you know, and that's what I'm trying to do. So I'm doing this documentary to reach more people outside. I mean, Avalon is like an airport, you know, it's like a terminal. All the people that are there are trying to reach a goal, but it's a community goal. Send a message. We are here. We are now here. We are awake. And it's your turn. Bring the second renaissance to the earth. Is It is a goal. We can accomplish that. But I don't know if, I don't know how to say that right now I feel like Everything is happening in the same at the same time. Everything, and I don't know what else to say right now. And just, I'm just feeling peace, like never before. I, I that is really fabulous. And um, Gerald is trying to share with us a, a Facebook video. Um, I might just type it in here and see if I can share it of what Avalon is. But yeah. what you're sharing, Beto, is so beautiful, and I feel like it is. I talk about meeting star seeds a lot. I feel uh, many of the younger people are coming to earth with their heart and their brain more connected than the old culture. And they're really longing to live that. And you, and I think it takes courage to step out of, like you said, the old security box and where things are safe and familiar and to go out and listen to your heart, to follow your dreams. And you're with now a whole community of people who are saying, find your voice, find yes. your spirit, express it. And I think this is so needed on earth. Yeah. I mean, how do you feel if you lost everything and think that you will ever going to have something again? How would you feel yeah. like, okay, well, I could feel sad, but Hey, you lost everything. Now is your time to get something else. If you lost everything, the universe says, okay, this guy finished the dish. Let's put something else. Give away the dish. Here comes another one. Do not worry. Yes, because the universe is abundant. And really, we never lose everything, right? No, no, <laughs> never. But uh, that was a really, that was a tough lesson for me to learn. We never lost anything. If something comes by, good. But if you ask the universe, please give me abundance. Yeah, okay, I will give you abundance. But let's see how much you want it. Yeah. The universe. So Beto, let me see if I can play this video. Hang in there just a minute. <laughs> As you can see, as the public can see, that's Avalon. And it's in Playa del Carmen. So beautiful. Yeah. And all different kinds of people. And you can just see the creativity flowing. And I love your idea of sharing it with universities. Like what a learning, uh, a learning tool, you know, to really activate the true human. And the thing is that with that, Maris Angel and I want to try we, we will reach all the artists all the artistic people everywhere because you know art saves you doesn't matter what you do if you're a singer if you play an instrument whatever if you're an actor actresses if you do that eventually that will connect 
with your feminine part because art it's feminine logic obviously masculine you know right so imagine we were entering this aquarius era i was aware yeah. of that just two years ago and yeah at some point of my life i was studying these i i was in many um with many people of different type of communities back then. So I learned a lot of this and not all, of course, I'm, I'm not a know-it-all person. Uh, but imagine Gerald, this. Gerald is asking what inspired you to want to make the documentary, but I don't want to interrupt your thought. Go ahead. If, the, if my goal is to reach every artistic people, everyone to create like a community, and we can export them to different scenarios, to different events, and we can create our own events to explore this consciousness, to expand it. Yes. That, that's what it is. So imagine, this community has artistic people. Okay, I have the universities. So I say, okay, universities, I have these people. Maybe we can create an event, maybe a, a profit event, maybe a fundraising, whatever, doesn't matter. Yeah. But give the opportunity to these people to be in your university, so we can make the whole people there, your 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 students, to know that they can do more in life than just sitting in a cubicle. That yes. just sit there and do what no, you can be an entrepreneur. You can do whatever you want. For example, you you are here, you're not doing a streaming, and who who cares? Who can tell you something about it? I mean, That's if you right. want to be a director, if you want to do a movie, and James Cameron says this. Grab your phone, record something, put your name on it as a director, and you're a director now. The other Very step cool. is fundraising, and that's it. Very that's cool. You can do Very it, and my cool. help teach me this. So one of our viewers, who's actually um, one of our moderators, also says, I have a friend who promotes medical tourism in and around Playa del Carmen. She would medical. love this. So we can connect you with him, and he can connect you with her. And we just pass it on, you know, pass on the good word. This is everyone. This is for the creators. And what we are, we are, we are creators. creators. Yes. We are own reality, according to our experiences, according to maybe our expectations, maybe. Uh, I, I believe people have expectations. Uh, I don't say that it's wrong, but give yourself the opportunity to create whatever you want because the reality that you put in your mind is the reality that you're reaching. So if you yeah. say everything is wrong, I feel bad, of course everything will be bad. But if you say, okay, I need to work on this. I know that I need this, but what comes from the lack always gives you lack. So I want to do this. I got to go to work. I got to do something. I got to, got to, got to. And you will do it. And if you do it, the universe says, okay, you're helping yourself. You're being truthful with yourself. Okay. Now we can share something. Here's the abundance. That's yeah. fabulous. Spoken <laughs> like a true brilliant star seed. I love it. So, yeah. Um, all thanks to Mary Sanchez. Actually, I'm going to make a movie about her. Uh, yeah. It's uh, being teached by a woman mm, is a very hard thing because um, actually there's a pattern there. And I learned that pattern. And I learned how to, well, I guess I learned how to make it possible. When something, it's like, I don't want to be with these people. I don't want to be with somebody. I don't want to. Okay. But why you don't want to be with them? It's ringing a bell somewhere. Are you like them at some point? Ask questions about why you don't like something. It's okay to have boundaries, but it's okay to know where does that boundary start? Maybe it becomes for a wound. And are you working on that wound or are you just trying to avoid it? Mm, very good. And Your message is so well spoken. And I think there's so many people who are hungry, you know, to follow their dreams, to kind of find their freedom and their truth. I hope everyone one day just know that they will be totally fine at the end i mean whatever you want to reach whatever you want to approach just do it by the heart if, you, if it's what you truly want 
face the consequences of your actions. Be aware that you are nobody's responsibility but you. Nobody does anything to you. And if you want that to affect you, you are, but a big word is condemned, but you're not condemned. Like, well, you understand that you will stay in the same page if you're thinking that everyone is doing something to you. And I changed my mind when I, when I got here. It happens to me and it could happen to anyone. It's just how much you want to risk yes. to become the best version of yourself. Not the version that can do anything. The version of you can do it with anything. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, listen, thank you for being here with me today. You're being so lovely all the way. And I'm sorry if I just keep talking, I keep talking, I keep talking. I Later, let's do something together. Like we can share point of views about what we think that is this new century that is coming with us. Yes, for sure. Because that's really all I teach about is that we are in the great awakening. We are in the great shift of the ages. We are in the time when humanity can't help but wake up. You know, it's like the push is so strong now. And and, and people it's... like people like you and Avalon, you're like guides. You know, you're a guide to say, come on, you guys, come on. Yes, we're students in life. We can guide people, but we are masters of ourselves only. Yes, true, 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 true. Well, many I blessings, know. brother. Mucho amor. Mucho amor and, también. Para okay, we will see you soon. We'll see you soon. Thank you, everyone, and thanks for watching. Follow this amazing lady and follow everything that you want to do. Your life, your choices. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, adios. And if you're feeling kind of down and you need some inspiration to remember who you are Whoa now child please don't frown you can choose a new vibration and these words can take you far I am a 21st century superhuman and I know that the answers are inside First century superhuman now, now, now is the time.